Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, I'll be speaking on the redemptive power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The redemptive power in the blood of Jesus Christ. This is actually a continuation of the first video I made, which is titled, What is Christianity? In the first video, I mentioned that Adam and Eve sinned against God. And in so doing, they broke the relationship between man and God. But God, being so merciful, being so gracious, sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, as attested in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. Word for word, John 3 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. Now, if you note that very particular passage, it says, Whosoever believes in him, whosoever believes in him, if I believe, if you believe, we will be made whole, we will be redeemed to Jesus Christ, we will be redeemed to the Lord God our God. Now, what is it? that is so important about man that God had to send his only son to die for our sins. The Bible makes us to understand that when God created the whole earth, the whole universe, so to speak, he said that let us make man in our own image. And they made man and he placed man in the Garden of Eden. Later he said, Oh, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make a companion for him. And they did this in the person of Eve. But along the line, they sinned and were driven out of the Garden of Eden. So why will God send his son to die for our sins? He had to send his son to die for our sins because the redemption has to be made by blood and it has to be made by a sinless blood so killing me killing you killing anybody will not redeem man to god it has to be made by someone who was perfect and the bible record says that jesus why he walked on this earth was perfect in all his doing which is why that name jesus is above every other name that as the name of Jesus every knee must bow of those in heaven of those on earth and of those underneath the earth every knee of those in the waters every knee must bow at the name of Jesus Christ which is why if you have a problem and you mention the name of Jesus Christ to that problem the problem will bow now back to our topic the redemptive power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I would like to make this as simple as possible because it is as simple as it can be. All you need to do is believe. Believe that Jesus is Lord. Believe that Jesus is God. Believe that Jesus died for your sins. Believe that the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary covers your sin. Believe that your sins are forgiven and they are forgiven. 
That is all you need to do. Believe. The Bible said so in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 17, that the just shall live by faith. When you believe, you are actually having faith. So just believe. Just believe. That is all that is needed. Believe. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, all you need to do is ask the Lord to forgive you all your sins. If you can remember them, confess them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess them orally. You, it has to be orally spoken. It has to come out of your mind, out of your mouth. It's not something in your heart. You have to actually utter those words. Once that is done, you ask Jesus again, spoken word, that Jesus, I hand over my life to you. I hand over my spirit to you. I hand over my soul to you. I hand over my body to you. Come and take control. I hand these over to you. They are yours. Take them. And by so doing, you have actually become a Christian. You have actually been redeemed by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord to wash your sins away by his blood. Once the blood of Jesus covers your sins, God remembers them no more. Like he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. <laughs> when God comes to you and he sees the blood that is over your sins, he will overlook it and just go over it. It's like when you hit the reset button in certain things, or you, you hit the delete button. Although some computers and stuff have recycle bins, but normally it is deleted. That's just the way it is. When you ask the blood of Jesus to redeem you, your sin is being reset to zero. You have never sinned as far as God is concerned. It never happened. As far as God is concerned, it never happened. You never killed. You never committed abortion. You never stole. You never duped anybody. You never actually committed fraudulent acts. You never murdered. You never shot anyone. You never killed. You never lied. You never stole. It never happened as far as God is concerned. And I'm asking you here today, because as you are watching this video, this may be your last chance. <laughs> we live today, <laughs> but tomorrow we die. So what is the meaning of life? So the thing is this, as I'm talking to you, rapture can even take place. And what I mean by rapture is the taking of the saints. It's a sudden thing that will happen. I cannot go into that in this video. But if you want to find out more, you could Google about it or send me an in inbox and I, will, and I will actually get that across to you. I'm sorry if I'm speaking too fast. I will try to speak more slowly as time goes on. However, I would like you to note that it is important you give your life to Christ right now. Tomorrow may be too late. After death comes judgment and there is no excuse that will be acceptable then. There is no hope if I had known or give me another chance. It is done, it is done. And I'm actually begging of you now to please give your life to Jesus Christ. Thank you.